திருச்சி மாவட்டத்தில் நடக்கும் அனைத்து நிகழ்வுகளையும் நீங்க கண்டு மகிழ வேண்டுமா உடனே நம்ம ஜெயம் டிவிய லைக் பண்ணுங்க கமெண்ட் பண்ணுங்க ஷேர் பண்ணுங்க அடுத்தடுத்த வீடியோ அப்டேட் உங்களுக்கு தெரியணும் ஆசைப்பட்டா மறக்காம பெல் பட்டனை டிங் தட்டிருங்க you are all preparing well for your examination only hardly a few days left for your examination most of you would have prepared well for your examination 90% would have prepared 10% only in revision even if you are not prepared yet there is time for you to prepare for your examination if you are a smart learner definitely you can achieve a high score no doubt in it everything is possible nothing is impossible that motto all should have in your mind now i am going to share few points to score 70 out of 70 in physics even if you don't score 70 out of 70 i am very sure all can get 60 out of 70 if you are a smart learner so what are the points you should keep in your mind to prepare for your examination number 1 you should know the pattern of question paper you have one mark questions 2 marks 3 marks and also 5 marks and you should know the weightage for each chapter regarding 5 marks 10 questions you have 5 questions you have to answer and each question you have either or type internal choice you have and one question from each chapter 10 chapters we have and one question from each chapter you have to take one question out of two questions so that you have to answer five questions in five marks two marks if you take you have to answer six questions out of nine questions out of which one question compulsory question and totally you have to answer six questions out of nine questions three marks also totally you have nine questions out of which you have to answer six questions and one question compulsory question and you all know that objective questions 15 questions you have to answer now coming to the weightage if you prepare from all chapters smartly you can get 60 out of 70 i said 60 marks you get only regular questions if you prepare questions from five year question paper definitely all can get 60 out of 70 no doubt in it only 10 marks challenging questions are little bit difficult questions you have to think it well and write regarding five mark go through the question paper five years question paper and try to prepare all those questions first one if you take you can prepare questions from four chapters chapter 1 chapter 2 chapter 4 and chapter 5 you can give least importance to chapter 3 i'll tell you again children chapter 1 chapter 2 chapter 4 chapter 5 you can give least importance to chapter 3 since you have more questions from chapter 3 you can avoid the questions from chapter 3 same manner if you take second volume chapter 6 chapter 7 chapter 8 you can prepare chapter 9 chapter 10 you can give least importance to chapter 6 you have more questions from chapter 6 and all questions you have ray diagrams so you can give least importance to chapter 6 and you can prepare remaining four chapters if you prepare the questions asked in the last five year question paper definitely you can answer five mark questions well no doubt in it clear and regarding um, three marks and two marks you have to prepare uh, properties properties if you take uh, very important property you have in fifth chapter characteristics of electromagnetic wave that you can prepare and chapter 8 and 9 characteristics of photons you have in chapter 7 and chapter 8 you have properties of cathode rays properties of neutrino if you prepare all those properties definitely you can answer one properties question next coming to uses first chapter you have uses of capacitor second chapter you have uses of seebeck effect so try to prepare all uses and 10th chapter you have all modern gadgets applications so from that you will get one question try to prepare applications and all definitions what is asked in the last five year question paper all laws you have to learn and the concepts if you are thorough you can write crisply and correctly two marks and three marks so that you cannot deviate from the textbook 
the points which is given in the textbook should be written in the paper crisply so that you can get uh, two marks and uh, three marks no doubt in it regarding objective questions nearly 12 questions uh, from the back of text so try to go through all questions from the back of text definitely can answer 12 questions out of 15 only three questions may be challenging based on concept for that you can go through um, all note summary points given at the back of text and in between you have a note to think all those points if you go through and if you are thorough with concept no doubt in thinking and writing one more question just you have to think it over and write one more question that's all only three or four questions may be challenging type and coming to problem part b two more questions you will get two problem or one reasoning question one problem and part 3 you will get two problem questions one compulsory problem one in open choice so definitely you have to answer two problems for that only problems given in exercise or examples mostly exercise problem will not be asked only example problem first go through all example problem asked in last five year question paper definitely you can answer two problem questions then one or two exercise problems which is more important or related with example problem you can go through so that you can answer two problems without any doubt very sure in that and you have to practice on numerical problem not only going through the problem just work it out and find out how you are getting the answer for that problem so practice on numerical problem is very important not only that since you have more derivation and more work you have to do in physics you may forget formula and steps to be followed but then what you can do is just write formula unit expression for all quantities in a column and you can have it in a chapter chapter wise you can have it in a paper so that whenever you revise just every day take half an hour time before you go for other new questions just you recall all this formula unit letters to be followed and expression if you go through all this formula unit expression then and there definitely can have all those points in your mind so without any confusion you can answer and concept mapping is very important whenever you take any five mark question just read the question carefully and find out what are the points you have to write if you have diagram diagram should be drawn first then write explanation then what are the steps to be followed what is the question asked what i have to write you have to end with the point related to question so what are the steps to be followed that concept mapping you should have in your mind based on that you have to proceed you should not skip off any step only for the steps given in the textbook you will get mark so don't leave any step concept mapping is very important and after you complete learning all questions before you go for examination revision on question paper is essential just take one question paper either from the guide or from the question paper what is given in the other school you can practice on that question paper and give it to the teacher and get it corrected so that you can avoid mistakes you will get more confidence in answering and you can avoid mistakes not only that physics very important point you have to keep in mind is diagrams are very important so you have to focus on diagrams just find out what markings you have to make what angle you have to make same letter you have to follow the letter what you are using in diagram should be given in the derivation that is more important then leave space between lines so that easy for the examiner to go through all your answers and put mark according to the key so you have to leave enough space not only that highlight the important points wherever you have formula unit you can put box in the formula and unit and you can highlight the important points just underline the points while you are writing itself you can underline the points either using pencil or using pen you can underline and uh, highlight the important points so that uh, no chance for the examiner to miss those points easily according to the score they will give mark and uh, for you also easy to get mark no chance of missing the points the neat handwriting handwriting is very important so try to present your matter neatly If there is any cancellation do it neatly cancellation should be done neatly just to strike it out one line on the answer will do so that also you have to do it neatly then try to answer orderly if you are answering two more questions 
and in between if you answer one three mark question uh, there is a chance for the examiner to correct and give a two mark for the three mark question so try to shuffle the answers and answer don't shuffle the answers and answer try to answer the questions orderly in the first page itself you can answer all objective questions put a number and if you know the answer for any question write those answers if you are not thorough with any of the answers you can leave space for that question just leave space after you complete the paper you can think it over and complete that answer so all 15 questions you can answer in the main sheet itself first two pages you can answer then you can go for if you are thorough with three mark questions answer three mark questions if you are thorough with two mark questions you can answer from two mark questions so don't shuffle and answer try to answer orderly that is very important okay and read the question carefully that is very important in physics first chapter if you take you have electric field you have electric potential so you have to go through the question carefully define electric field or derive an expression for electric field due to dipole along axial line or equatorial line question should be read carefully after read question think it over what answer you have to write from which chapter you have to answer again chapter 1 and chapter 3 confusing chapter 1 electric field chapter 3 magnetic field by its so what law means magnetic field chapter 1 coulomb's law means electric field so you should not confuse with the question children used to say that uh, i got this answer uh, i have read it uh, wrongly so that i have answered uh, this answer for this question after they complete the question paper you should not regret for that so try to read the question carefully and answer related to the question that is very important i think all would have prepared well smart learning will help you more you okay? need not cover entire textbook 50% even if you cover with self confidence you can answer all questions okay so five mark question no chance for you to miss the answer one mark if you go through the back of text you can answer all one mark questions and the laws uses um, properties and uh, definitions one or two definitions repeatedly brought in the question paper if you revise definitely you can answer two mark and three mark questions so success is in your hands only hard work will make you to get good mark so spend the remaining time even if you are not learned so far spend the remaining time on learning energy time on learning put your maximum effort hard work and revise all question papers five year question paper go through the question paper and find out whether you know the answer for all questions success in your hands and avoid having junk food avoid going out during examination time anything may happen take care of your health put maximum effort remain in those don't put yourself in any troubles keep yourself away from all trouble situation your mind your thought everything should be on learning that is the most important work and task you have during this examination time so put your maximum effort hard work and dedication commitment will make you to get very good score even if you have not learned so far doesn't matter start learning from today with this smart instructions success is yours thank you children